Hey, what's happening guys? Mike Moon here. This is just a quick little review of a DIY car alarm system that requires no modification to your car. It's pretty much really close in play. Now this, uh, I got this as a result as a stopgap solution between me getting a better car alarm system for my Subaru because it actually got broken and smashed into earlier this year where, you know, I lost thousands of dollars of stuff and damages and it's just a big mess. So I found out the hard way that a lot of these vehicles don't actually have shock sensors built in. So what that means is that the thief and smash the windows and without opening the door, it won't set off the alarm. You can shake the car, you can steal the tires, you can do all sorts of stuff. You won't be able to um, have the alarm go off. And so they know this, right? Now, if they smash the window, they open the door, the car alarm will go off. So because they know this, there's a lot of smash and grabs that happen a lot. And uh, for um, a number of reasons, these aren't automatically installed. Now, you can get this installed and added onto most car vehicles and that's just an add-on plus insulation. I looked around, it was going to be about like $200. I think it's like a hundred some dollars for the parts and hundred some dollars for labor, two to $300. So uh, I was still thinking about getting another third party alarm. But in the meantime, I thought, hey, why not see what I can find uh, relatively cheap that I can DIY install without any technical knowledge uh, pretty much whatsoever. So that's where, I, where this one came about. Uh, this is marketed, I'll have a link down below. It's a little bit hard to find exactly by description description, um, pretty much it is a no insulation alarm system. Okay, so that means that uh, I have this and I also have my regular Subaru car fob uh, that has a built in alarm and this will st step in where if they break the glass, um, the alarm will go off and set off 120 decibel alarm outside the car and also something inside about 100 decibels inside. So what's special about this is was this is about $100. It's an install just bolt in kit. It's got an internal section, uh, the control module that has the uh, antenna signal and this has about a thousand meter range. Um, I question that a lot, but that's really open air, uh, basically open field, ideal conditions, 1,000 meters, and it's a two-way. So if the alarm goes off or uh, one of the sensors go off, I get a notification on here. This thing vibrates. I get a little screen on here that tells me, hey, it looks like um, some sensor got set off. So in this case, the pressure sensor. And it has two different sensors. Uh, one of them is the uh, pressure sensor. So basically, if the door gets opened, window gets smashed, um, the air pressure will change just immediately so it'll detect a drop in air pressure or an increase in air pressure whatever it is and it'll set off the other thing is a shock sensor okay and that is the inside module that go that um has a sensor where if you you know you shake it too much or you shake it a bit um it will also set off the alarm and then it will also let you know which one of these sensors gets set off all right now uh, i've had this for a good month the range is actually decent given that i am in an urban area where i'm just basically surrounded by buildings so i can actually get a fairly decent range if i park it at the closest park now uh, the problem that i have with this is that um the uh besides having to carry two remotes but there's nothing you can do about that um, is that the uh, false alarms are actually kind of high in my area. It gets a little windy here in the San Francisco Bay Area. So um, sometimes when the wind uh, just blows a little bit too much, for whatever reason, it sets off the pressure sensors. Now, there are adjustability settings on the actual um, alarm system, and I've never actually been able to get that to a nice medium, okay? And what I mean by um, this is, hey, if someone knocks over my side mirror or, you know, runs into it or dents my car, I want the alarm to go off. And with this, um, at the sensitivity level that I adjust it to, when that does happen or if something like that happens, I simulate it, you know, by kicking my tires, you know, pushing against the car, uh, it becomes too sensitive and I just can't get a good middle ground. Okay. So I, I just get a lot of those, um, those issues there, but it has, so what I find that I end up doing is I end up doing the silent arm mode, which basically I get a notification on here, but the car sound alarm doesn't actually go off like it you know it, it's just it does, doesn't buzz then what's the point it doesn't scare them away the point is then i know that something happened to my car the problem is i get too many false alarms and so that defeats the whole purpose 
So I think in um, certain environments where you don't get uh, too much wind pressure change, and also I, I have a um, crossover SUV that sits up higher, Subaru's all tend to sit a little bit higher, um, that might affect, uh, maybe the insulation might affect. Um, either way, I was just getting too many false alarms. Now, there is an adjustability setting, and I've tried tinkering around with that, and I, I still couldn't get it to the point where uh, I was comfortable. Now, with that said, um, I feel that at the $85 price point, it's not bad. You know, if there was going to be a version 2, I'd probably sign up for that and, uh, you know, give that another test run. But in, in my case scenario, because of all the false alarms that I get and I can't get it tuned in just right, uh, I'm not I'm not keeping this. This is going back. Okay, so I'm going to be onward to find out what kind of a little alarm system I'm going to go ahead set up here, whether or not I'm going to stick with the OEM, do an add-on, or do a complete all third party. Haven't quite decided yet. Uh, if you're interested or if you have a relatively recent Subaru, let me know what you guys did and what worked out well for you. Uh, we have been getting quite a lot of crime over here in Hayward. I mean, there's people who park near the Bark Station. I'm really close to it too. And they just have their wheels completely stolen. You know, something like a tilt sensor might affect with that or a shock sensor might, might you know, sound the alarm a little bit so that uh, this way uh, people get notified. And for sure, this alarm would go off, but then it'd go off quite a bit and, you know, that kind of defeats the whole purpose. All right, that's it for this little review. Uh, please give this a like, subscribe for more, and I'll catch you in the next